We are releasing a report today looking at the condition and the use of the transportation system throughout Georgia, but specifically we've broken it down into each regional area, particularly taking a look at what is the impact of that transportation system on average motorists. The most critical finding is that we estimate that the average motorist is spending an additional $1,200 per year here, here in this area in terms of additional time stuck in traffic, the cost of maintaining a vehicle, the additional cost because of driving on, on roads that are rough roads that are jarring motorists and also beating up vehicles, and also the economic cost of traffic crashes. When it comes to traffic congestion, Atlanta is really in, in a whole different realm. It's up there with, with Washington, D.C. and Los Angeles with those, those cities with tremendous levels of traffic congestion. What we see in a city like Columbus, uh, which continues to experience growth, is it's now moving in along with mid-sized cities across the country having those growing pains, seeing, seeing traffic congestion being an issue. And the, the big challenge is that, the, faced here in this region, but also statewide, is having the funding in place to make the types of transportation improvements in a, that have been identified locally as being needed to support economic development and economic growth. Here in the Columbus area, that 6% of the region's bridges are structurally deficient and another 12% are functionally obsolete. The, the bridges that are structurally deficient, of course, are the, the bridges of greatest concern in that those are bridges where the engineers have identified the need for immediate repairs. It's not to say that they're in any imminent danger to the, the public, but the, the, the real danger is long term in terms of the economy. If those bridges aren't repaired, they have to be restricted to lighter weight vehicles, ultimately possibly could be closed. And so it's critical to stay ahead of those challenges, both with pavements and also with bridges, because if you fall behind in terms of infrastructure repairs, those costs escalate dramatically if you don't get in early and do them when they can still be done cost effectively.